Okay, good morning, guys. Uh, good to be back with you guys today. Uh, my title, An End Without God Looks Bad. Yesterday, we looked at three characters, guys. Uh, the man of God, the old prophet, and of course, old Jeroboam, uh, the evil to the end king. Today, we're going to hear about his uh, his ending. Uh, we in 1 Kings uh, chapter 14, verses 10 and 11. Here we go. Verse 10. Because of this, I'm going to bring disaster on the house of Jeroboam. I will cut off from Jeroboam every last male in Israel, slave or free. I will burn up the house of Jeroboam as one burns dung until it is all gone. Dogs will eat those belongings to Jeroboam who die in the city, and the birds of the air will feed on those who die in the country. The Lord has spoken. My reveal, guys, this is short and sweet today. You're either with God or you reject him. The end of the king without God was extremely bleak. So uh, my implementation, I want to be with God. That means I have to accept him as my Lord and Savior. To do that, I must trust him. I got to believe what he says, and, and I got to do what he says by studying his word. And... You know what I'm going to say, guys? Then we got to walk it out. Uh, we got to live a life that pleases God, walking in His will, not our will. My prayer. Heavenly Father, man, I don't want to uh, end uh, without you. Just keep me close to you. Forgive me for my sins. Help me to walk it out in a way that pleases you. Just lead and guide my life every day. For it's in Christ's name I pray. Amen. Guys, I think this is simple today. It's a simple question. Are you with God and Jesus or not? I highly recommend that you be with Jesus. Let me pray. Heavenly Father, be with all the guys that are looking in on this video today. Just help them to continue to grow their faith, uh, walking it out every day. Those that don't have Jesus, Lord, help them to come to some realization that they need Jesus because uh, we don't want to be void of Jesus, Lord, like uh, we see with uh, Jeroboam here. We just thank you for the scriptures and what we can learn from them. For it's in Christ's name I pray. Amen. All right, guys. See you tomorrow.